Hi fellows and welcome to my videos and my channel. We have the Makita uh, BDF440. It's uh, you can see the model here on the back side of the label. And the problem with this one is that when you are putting it to the, for example, the 14 year clutch, and it spins back on a load. Of course, that's really bad because you need to tighten it and it still get back. And you tighten it and it get back, 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 back. And the second problem is we have the problem with the gear axis. It's just not moving, so we have the damaged gears here. Uh, okay, for the spinning the clutch back, it's a spring, leaf spring uh, inside the housing. It will be broken or it will be missing here. And I'm, I will just open it and okay. The other problem I can see here the carbon brushes was changed not properly. You can see that the carbon brush wire goes up on the top of the carbon brush holder, uh, it cannot be like that. That's bad because it will stop the tool here. So we need to fix that when we will get when we will assemble the tool and yeah now I will open the tool itself yeah, it's <laughs> okay it's good seeing it for the first time but still it's funny uh, we have the the field here and it was cracked here so someone just soldered it okay and yeah we can inspect the armature armature looks good the field of course look repair it and yeah honestly I was even not thinking about that about doing that yeah, and it's just, uh, just so that it, okay, why not, and why yes, uh, yep, that's cool, and what we have here, and now we need to go here, Okay, forgot about the left spring and normally it's here in the housing, now it's missing, so the same person who have changed the carbon brushes, solder at the field, just forgot to put the lift spring because I got this tool from, from the customer and uh, this tool was come from the other power tool repair shop and yeah, that's a little bit sad about that. Okay, so it's a lift spring missing, that's why the clutch is spinning back. And of course now we need to check the gears and I think they will be damaged. Where's my pliers? Okay, just taking the gear here. Gear here, this one, taking this one and yeah. We can see that the gear is a too much pass gear, yeah. They are absolutely damaged. Focus you. I cannot tell that word. Okay. We can see that the these here are gones, definitely gone. So we need a new new gear assay and the lip string for this one and it's a carbon brushes on the half left and we need to decide to change or not the field and yep of course I seen the video of the Alexandre Brest I think if I could remember and he repaired the garage like this by putting the screw here inside the, the housing and that's really not bad idea I think uh, of course if you have the time and you want to do that but honestly I think it will be better to replace all the gear I see 
Yeah, and it's a good old tool and it's definitely worth repair. You can see from the housing that it's really selling good. It's made on a 2012 and it still looks nice, not scratched, not dirty. So, user of this tool is uh, it's a good user. It's saving the tools, not breaking them. Uh, okay, yeah, so for now that's all and uh, I will be back with assembling this tool, with changing the gear I see, the, the jack of it, because we need to remove it to put it on a new gear I see, yeah, and for now that's all, you can see how, how it's easy to disassemble it and diagnose the problem for this tool, so for now just saying you bye.